Hello friends, this video on carbon and its compound part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 23. Now we'll study coal and petrol. They are called fossil fuels and they are very critical for us because our car runs on this, machines runs on this, a lot of things runs on coal and petrol. In fact, the electricity we get most of the electricity in India is from thermal power. Thermal power is nothing but power you generate from coal. So coal and petrol are very critical for us and they are called fossil fuels. And we define coal as nothing but a complex mixture of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen and some free carbon is found in deep coal mines under the surface of earth and is formed by decomposition of large plants and animals buried under the earth millions of years ago. So they had, they were some plants and trees and uh, the animals, they all buried millions of years ago and they form coal because they were crushed into earth perhaps by earthquake or volcano, we don't know, there is still a lot of theories around this, nobody knows the exact answer for this but something happened and it got buried and they were pressed down by the earth and rock and the precious and all, they slowly decayed into coal. For petroleum, this was also remains of millions of tiny plants, there are millions of uh, tiny plants and animals, they live under sea because normally you, you get petrol from sea, so you see they are all nothing but remains of tiny plants and animals in the sea, sea creatures, when they died, their bodies sank into the seabed, right, and which is covered with silt, silt is nothing but the mud thing, and the bacteria attack the dead body and turn them into oil and gas. The bacteria convert the dead plants and animals, the sea plants and animals into oils under high pressure, right? And uh, meanwhile, if you see the silt, right, silt become rock because the pressure. Silt is nothing but, no, the mud, mud, mud is nothing but silt, mud with water. With the pressure, the silt become rock. And now, the this oil and gas you get from rock the pores of the rock because this oils, the petrols are stored in the pores of the rocks, right? They got trapped in the rock. The way if you have the sponge, you know sponge, in the sponge water is absorbed. You must have seen the sponge. Similar to that, this is uh, in this case, the oil is trapped in the rock and we have the process where we extract the oil from the plant. And also note that this coal and petrol both has some amount of nitrogen and sulfur in them and this is the reason we, we have the pollution because their combustion result in the formation of sulfur oxide and nitrogen oxides and they are the one which pollutes the environment the most. Correct. And the question, the first question which he asked why they are called fossil fuel, they are called fossil fuels because they are fossil fossilized remains of vegetation that grew years ago, millions of years ago. They were, they were the vegetation, the plants, the animals, they got fossilized and we got coal and petrol and that's why they call fossil fuels, correct? So now we know what is coal, what is petrol, how we got coal, how we got petrol and how we extract coal and petrol. The interesting thing is here, the coal, uh, the petrol is generally uh, trapped in the rocks and we get that from Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.